Well, a happy Friday once again, where it's a nice early evening right now, and the nice weather will continue throughout the evening hours. But of course, our temperatures will start to cool off. Already, we have started to see that trend take place. Instead of upper 70s on the map, now we're talking about low to mid 70s here in Southwest Louisiana. We'll select a few locations here. 74 is the temperature in Jennings to 73 Oakdale. Over into Sulphur we go with a temperature of 76 degrees. We still have a lot of sunshine that's going to keep things warm, at least until sunset, but then those temperatures will fall. Now, we've had a couple of pretty chilly mornings and late nights over the past couple of ones. The question is, do we get that cool again tonight? And tonight, I think not really. The reason why, the air is slightly less dry than previous nights. These dew point temperatures are into the 40s for the most part, except to Ritter at 36. The air, even with the readings that low, it's still pretty dry. But again, these numbers are not quite as low as previous nights, so it's going to be a bit of a slower cooling trend this evening. However, it's still going to take place. We'll see temperatures dip down into the 60s after sunset and gradually fall throughout the evening hours. So just keep that in mind for any outdoor planes you may have. You may want a lighter sweatshirt or a sweater later on this evening. But again, I don't foresee many weather issues at all. So let's take a look throughout the rest of the evening and nighttime hours. Featurecast has the right idea with a few high thin clouds around, but temperatures will fall regardless. So that brings us to tomorrow morning. Temperatures as we get to around 7 a.m. I think I'll end up ranging from the upper 40s to low 50s and warmest at the immediate coast. But then comes tomorrow afternoon. It's still expected to be a pretty nice afternoon tomorrow, but a little bit warmer. We'll have more sunshine return, and I think we'll have the return of 80 degree temperature readings, especially close to I 10 during the afternoon hours. So, if you have any outdoor plans, I know we have Chuck Fest going on tomorrow afternoon and evening in downtown Lake Charles. Weather looks to cooperate pretty nicely for any of those plans you may have. And honestly, we're still going to stick with this quiet pattern at least for the next week or so, maybe even longer than that. High pressure will still remain close to southwest Louisiana through the weekend. Again, that's good if you want to get outdoors. At the same time, we do need rain at some point, and that still looks pretty unlikely as long as high pressure remains in control, which it will at least through the middle part of next week. We'll also take a quick look at the tropics here. We do are we are still watching a tropical wave in the Western Caribbean Sea. It's become a little bit better organized and it's been dubbed potential tropical cyclone 15. That just means it's not yet uh, it hasn't organized to become a tropical storm or depression, but it could soon as it's likely to impact land. But it will stay well to the south, moving into Belize over the weekend and eventually dissipating over Mexico. Elsewhere in the tropics, we only have one other wave we're watching north of Puerto Rico. But after this weekend, even if something develops, I do think strong upper level winds will come around to shred the system. So that's very good news for Southwest Louisiana as well. The bottom line here, temperatures will continue to warm up gradually this weekend and into next week, but at least we do have a pretty nice weekend to enjoy, Cynthia. All right, thanks a lot. Well, Matthew, it's Friday, so we know what that means.